first of all, I need to apologize to America because I think I manifested. If, no, I think Melania. I, man- I, I think I, I manifested Melania being the first lady <laughs> because there's a picture of her on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh. It's your fault. It's your fault. and 17 and I can't even believe it. I'm Alex Michael May and welcome back to my channel. I love New Year. It's like a chance at starting fresh. It's like this year you can be whatever you want and you can do whatever you want and it's so exciting. But let's be honest, have you ever really wanted something or started a new year really excited and then something that you really wanted didn't happen? That's definitely happened to me. Uh, fear of failure, lack of resources. There's so many different reasons why this can happen, but let's make sure this year is not one of those years. You guys, 2017 is our year. We're gonna dig in and talk about vision boards today. What is a vision board? Not magic, it's not a bunch of baloney, not weird voodoo stuff. It's not gonna do hard work for you. It's real, it's awesome, it's exciting, and it's empowering, and you should do it. A vision board is really just your goals made visual. Visuals that mean a lot to you and represent things that you wanna happen, and they are either digital or they are in print and it's something that you look at all the time. And I don't wanna to get too into the law of attraction, but the basic principle of it is that like attracts like. If you put positive energy out there into the universe, that's what you're gonna get back to you. And if you put negative energy out into the universe, it's gonna amplify and become more and that's what you're gonna get back. And we definitely don't want that. Athletes and top sports trainers have actually been using this for years, visualizing, believing, and feeling things into action before they happen. That's why Oprah, Tony Robbins, so many amazing, powerful, and successful people use these things like vision boards, the law of attraction, visualizing. They use it all, all the time. Does it sound like a bunch of hocus pocus weird stuff? That's fine. I've actually experimented with this uh, for a few years now, and I started making vision boards maybe back in 2000 seven or 2008, and um, I'm gonna be sharing with you a good friend of mine today who's seen really interesting things happen with her vision board. I don't wanna give away too much, but it's kinda crazy. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can make one yourself. I'm gonna share with you a top secret tip. I can't wait to show it to you. It's gonna change your life. You can use it for your YouTube videos. You can use it for Instagram. You can use it for your business. I swear it's gonna change your life. And it is gonna change your life because we're gonna dive into it right now and I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it. And then as soon as you've made your vision board, you can make everything come true on it using this free tool. So the first thing that you're gonna do is go to that awesome free tool I was telling you about, www.canva.com. It's gonna prompt you to sign up for an account. It's super easy and free, and this is the first thing that you're gonna see. This is why I tell you it's an awesome business tool because you can use it to make social media graphics, banners, um, YouTube backdrops, collages, basically anything you need is here and they have awesome layouts and amazing stock images. This has taken my business to the next level. The first thing you're gonna do is to create a design. They're going to give you all kinds of suggestions, but we're gonna go ahead and go over here to the right and use custom dimension. I went ahead and Googled to see what the most optimal size for my MacBook is. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter those dimensions now. 2304 to 1440 is mine, and then you're gonna go ahead and define. So guys, the first thing you're gonna do is go down to upload, and you're gonna upload your own images. And then I'm just gonna select all the images that I put in there, and I'm gonna drag all of them and drop them right here. There's a couple different ways you can go about it. You can go ahead and go to layouts and select a layout with a lot of photos. Basically, this just gives you different places to put your photos so you don't have to worry about the layout. It is the easiest way if you're super new to design. All you would do is choose an image that you like and drag it and it's gonna go ahead and place it there for you. So, but I don't like this. I wanna be a little more original, so I'm not gonna use this layout at all. So I'm just gonna delete that. From what I've heard, it's really great if you start with the most powerful thing in the middle or what's the center of your life. So it's important for me that I remain grounded in my faith. I'm gonna go ahead and put this cool, beautiful scripted verse here in the middle. It's whatever your core value is and what you think is your driving force, whatever you believe in. I'm gonna start with that because it really calms and centers me. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start putting in some of my goals. Clearly these are not all my goals and I will probably continue to work on this after we're done today. But I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how to make this.
I'm gonna show you how you can add other elements. You can actually add copy or over here, they have pre-made little ways of doing text and copy, but here you can change the font here, the size, the color, so you can modify and have a fun with this stuff. But poking around here is really gonna be your best bet. So, but let's just say that I'm done with this board and I'm ready to export it. All you're gonna do is go to downloads. You can choose if you wanna download it as a PDF, a PNG, a JPEG, and then once you click download, it'll be on your computer wherever you save it, however you save that file. Make sure that you title it so you can find it, and then you can take it to Kinko's and print it, uh, print it at your house, or put it on your desktop background. Another thing that's cool is um, you can make this same thing. You could copy this document and change the dimensions so that you could actually make it ready to go for your iPhone screen as well. I might be showing you guys this vision board when I finish it, so I will be making one, and maybe in a future video I'll talk about what's coming true in that. But for now, this should give you an idea of where I'm going with it. Let me know what you guys think of Canva, and I'm gonna hop out to the rest of this video, but I hope that this was helpful. Thanks, guys. So that's how you make your vision board. Super simple, just like I told you. And now you can also use that free tool to create anything you need for your business or your creative projects. You're welcome. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you liked it, please hit like and subscribe. And now I'd love it if you join me over in part two where I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to know to make everything on your board come to life. And you're gonna hear from somebody who had a really cool story about this. So I'll see you guys over there now. Bye.